Hey everyone, welcome back to Tailgate Talks. I'm Erin Labry, Nebraska Extension Educator, and our topic today is cedar tree control. Eastern red cedar has become a pretty big threat to our grazing land here in Nebraska. Since the year 2000, Nebraska has lost nearly half a million acres of grazing land to eastern red cedar, which is estimated to have an economic impact of around $18.7 million. So there's really no better time than now to start controlling these cedar trees from invading your pastures and get your grazing acres back. The most common control methods for eastern red cedar include mechanical removal, whether that's cutting, mulching, or digging out trees, prescribed fire, and the use of herbicides. Prescribed fire is a really good tool for cedar tree control. It just requires some planning and an understanding of how fire reacts in different weather conditions and with different types of fuel loads. Tree height is often a good determining factor on the best methods for control. Trees up to two feet tall can be controlled by burning, cutting, mulching, broadcasting an herbicide, or even goat grazing. Mechanical removal or applying an herbicide to individual trees works best for trees two to 10 feet tall. And then for trees that are over 10 feet tall, mechanical removal is usually best. But there's really no silver bullet or single control method that works best alone. Typically a combination of these control methods can be the best approach, such as going in and cutting or mulching some of the trees and then running through with prescribed fire. But the bottom line is it is easier and cheaper to control cedar trees while they're still small. Simply making a habit of going out and chopping any cedar tree seedlings while you're out checking pastures can make a big difference in the long run. For more information, check out the Nebraska Extension publication, Integrated Management for Eastern Red Cedar. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.